Well, good day, folks, and welcome back to the channel. Um, tonight we are starting on a series on blacksmithing tools um, to enter into doing blacksmithing work. Uh, this here is just a ch pretty much the cheapest cross pin hammer you can buy off eBay. It is as cheap as chips and it has a varnished handle which is absolutely useless it will raise blisters if you see the front it's got facets in the grind so it will leave marks whenever you hammer with that face and on the back it has a square edge so if you use the cross pin again it's going to leave marks so what we're going to do is we're going to flatten this back off a bit and give it a nice smoother finish because it's got some pretty good hatch marks in it from where it was ground so we'll clean that up and we're going to put a, a radius on the edge we're going to start by doing a 45 degree and then we're going to take it to a curve same on this end they've already got the the little angle on here so we're just going to smooth away each edge as we go and just bring it down i'm going to start with a 60 group belt and i'm going to move to a 120 a 240 a 400 and then a polishing belt and so this one's going to be one of those music ones i'll stop every now and again to and say a few words but yeah because of the grinder i'm going to keep the keep the noise down and play some music instead for you uh, as always eye protection and I also have my ear protection on uh, do not have my breathing protection because it's hard to do that and talk and film so off we go There we go, that's the 60 grit. We've now got a smoother transition into each of the faces and a nice round edge up, up here on the cross pin. So now it's just a matter of, of progressing through the belts and giving that a smoother and smoother finish. And generally all my work's gonna be in here where we've got a little bit of slack in the belt rather than here where it's hard behind it. So this will give me that little bit smoother transition. All right, so change belts and off we go into the next one. And this is the 120 grit. Oops. All right, this is the 240 grit. Uh, I didn't do the cross pin on the on the 120, but I should be able to pick it up. Hopefully, I won't have to go back a grit. So uh, let's see what happens.
all fixed up, all nice and smooth. A little bit of a round on the sides of it. If you go that way, you should be able to see it. A little bit around that way, not too much, uh, because I do want to use the full length, but I want to take out the edges of it so it doesn't chop it. Okay, this one's the 400 grit. Grit dark. Now we're up to the polishing belt, just refined that edge a little bit more and we're nice and smooth on all the transitions this way. So there's no danger of it chopping up unless I swing the hammer pretty badly, which is always a possibility but hey. And polishing belt just helps to leave a nice smooth finish just again to stop leaving any marks on your work that you don't need there all done nice smooth polished surface on both ends so all of a sudden that rough looking cheap Chinese hammer looks like it's going to be able to forge without leaving too many marks apart from user error all right now I'm going to reposition you and we will do the handle next um, I'm going to do that up top here so um, chances are I need to move the camera to sort that out and we're going to use the belts that I normally use for doing handles. Alright, be back with you in a second. Alright, here we are. These are the handle belts that I use. Uh, this one is a scallop belt. It's only one inch wide, whereas normally I use two inch wide. Um, so this isn't as wide. It's scalloped on the edge, so it's soft on the sand softer on the edges, so I can move along a flat planer a lot better without leaving gouge marks on it this one's at 120 we'll then go to a 220 and a 240 so and yeah again the idea is we're trying to strip off all this all this lacquered finish because yeah it's just going to be as rough as anything on your hands and it is going to leave blisters like nothing so away we go.
All right, there we go. A lot of work to get that paint off, that's for sure. Um, but that's all off, and now I'll go through the finer grits, and I'll bring it back to a smooth finish again. And then later on, we'll go to the wax. Okay, so this is our 220 grit. Right. <clears throat> Just feeling that, that feels pretty good there I don't think I'm gonna take it up to the 400 I think if I take it up to 400 it's gonna end up too smooth uh, for something that's a swinging tool um, so we'll leave it at the 220 and I'll take it inside and I'll show you the waxing so off we go inside see you soon all right here we are back inside I'm trying to wax it up so, our wax mix. Grab some on the cloth. Just rub it in. I'm going to use a non wax coated part and just give it a good bath. And there we are, and that wax gives it a little bit of tackiness, ideal, and that's ideally what you want. You want a little bit of tackiness to the handle, so it does grip a bit. You don't want that shiny, junky finish that was on there. Um, so there we go, from the cheapest hammer on eBay to something useful, something usable. And, you know, that's why I bought the hammer I bought. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, hit the bell notification so you can continue following us along on the journey. And, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.